legal, né? A gente tem some maths, some financial maths. Uh, financial mathematics is uh, just the numbers behind money. And uh, we first going to look at simple interest. So the reason why the value of money changes over time is because we put our investments in banks where they earn interest. Um, and interest is simply uh, put, it can be viewed as um, making money on your money. So renting money in a sense, or loaning out money at a price. Now, a simple interest is when that value of your money grows with a constant amount every year or every term. So let's say I invested a thousand rand and I get 10% simple interest. That is, means that every year my money is going to grow with 10% of a thousand rand. Even if my money increases, the 10% will be calculated on the original amount. Now this original amount is called the principal. Okay, it is called calculated on the principal value. So in other words, if I were to look at the 10% of a thousand is a hundred rand. So your and your yearly interest will be a hundred rand. <coughs> okay, so in my first year, at time zero, so let's say this is time, time zero, I'm going to have a thousand rand. At time one, after one year, I'll get one hundred rand extra, so it will be a thousand plus one hundred. So I will have a total of 1,100 Rand. At two years, I will have 1,100, because that's how much I had in the bank, plus, well actually let's say, let's put it as 1,000, my original amount, plus 100, plus another 100, okay, because for a second year I'm earning 100, so I will have 1,000, 200 and I think you guys are smart enough to actually get the picture so that after n years, however long, however long n is, um, we haven't figured it out. Let's make it 10 for now. Let's make it 10 for now. So after 10 years, I would have gotten a thousand rand plus, and then I would get a hundred rand every year for 10 years. So 10 times a hundred rand which would give me in the end 2,000 rand. After 10 years, my money would have actually doubled. So after n years, let's now see, after n years, I would have had my 1,000 rand, now n is just unknown at this stage, plus n times 104, because for every year I get 100, and that I'm getting it for n years, how long that is, and what? Well, I'm simplifying it. Okay, well, this is going to help us get to the formula. Why? Because my future value, or my amortized value, or um, some people use the A to, to refer to actual value, I actually prefer an F to represent future value, but we're going to use the A in um, um, correspondence with your books, your textbook. Okay. My future value is going to depend on my present value plus the interest that I earned on that present, sorry, not present, principal value. And that principal value, that interest was calculated by taking my interest rate, 10%, and multiplying it with my principal. So now it's 10% multiplied by a thousand gave me the hundred. And then I earned this for a number of years. We don't know how many years at this point. We want to work out a general formula. And there we go. We can see there's two terms. Both of the terms contain a P. And if we take it out as a common factor, we've got one plus I N 
Here we go. That is the formula for simple interest. Let's look at an example. Calculate the future value of 1850 invested over 5 years at 7,5% simple interest per annum. So we we'll use our formula we just calculated that the future value or the amortized value is the principal value multiplied by 1 plus my interest rate multiplied by my time period. When we get to compound interest, you'll see instead of multiplying, we're going to have an exponent. But here we simply put into our formula, but let's just see what do we have. Do we have the amortized value or the future value? No. Do we have the principal value? Yes, originally we invested 1,100, uh, sorry, 1,850. We know the interest. Now here it is very, very, very important. We never use percentage in a calculation. Percentage means divide by 100. So 7,5 is actually divided by 100 if we use it in a calculation, which means the comma just always shifts two places to the left. So 0, 0,075. That is my interest value that's going to be used inside my formula. Okay, N represents the number of years or actually, let me be 100% honest, I represent interest and percentage interest and N represents the number of times you will earn interest. And please get that because later it will be very important. Okay, so if I get 7.5% interest, simple interest per annum, it means I get it every year. So if I get it for five years, N will be the number of times I get it. I'm going to get it five times. So let's substitute into our formula, see where it takes us. Okay, so we have 1,850. That is 1 plus 0, 0,075 multiplied by 5. And our answer is, let's use our calculator. Answer is, and type it. Right here, 1850. Then multiply, and now I put in brackets what is in brackets. 1 plus 0 0.075 times 5, and I close my brackets. Safest way to type it exactly as you find it in your equation. And there we go, 2543,75. Four hundred five hundred and forty three comma seventy five. That is how much the money would be worth in ten years. Let's look at another example where we're given the future value and we have to calculate the present value. A certain investment reached a value of fifty thousand Rand after twenty years invested at 8% simple interest per annum. What was the value of the original, uh, what was the value originally invested? Okay, let's put down our information again. Do I have my amortized value, my future value? Indeed I do, 50,000. Do I have my principal value? Unfortunately I know, that is what is odd. What was the value originally invested? Do I know what interest I'm earning Every time, yes, they told me we are earning, what was it, 8%? 8% simple interest. So 8% means 8 divided by 100, or move the comma left two spaces, 0, 0,08. Okay, and the number of times we get interest, we get interest yearly, and I, we get it, got it over 20 years, so the number of times I got interest was 20 times. And here we remember, because it is simple interest, we actually should start by writing down our simple interest formula. Okay, that's just the same. Here's my simple interest formula, and now I can substitute all of the values that I do know. I know my amortized value is 50,000, and here I see I'm actually going to use an equation to solve this problem. <coughs> okay, bring all of the information. There we go. 
So what I can just do here to make it actually very simple is just simplify the bracket on the right hand side and we see then it's a, actually a very simple calculation. 1 plus 0, 8 times 20 should give us um, 1, 6 plus 1 should be 2, 6. Okay, which means that my present value is 50,000 divided by that 2,6. I was just solving the equation. And here we go, 50123 divided by 2,6. And our answer is 19,230 and 76 cents. Alright, make sure it doesn't ground. 77, 77 cents. That was the amount originally invested and that grew to a total amount of 50,000 over 20 years. Okay, there's many different uh, questions that can also be asked. We can even uh, be asked to calculate the amount of simple interest that was calculated um, uh, on, on the investment or the number of years that it took to grow to a certain amount. More on that in another video.